Brakatai Hawa, Brakatai Hawa Shai, Brakatai Hawa, Brakatai Hawa Shai, Brakatai Hawa, Brakatai Hawa Shai, Brakatai Hawa, Brakatai Hawa Shai. Call Halao La Yahawa Bashimi Hawa Shai, which means all praises to Yahawa, the Father, in the name of the Son, Yahawa Shai. I like to give double honors to the apostles and elders of Great Millstone. Salutations to all the Lord's hopeful elect scattered abroad, teaching his word of sincerity and truth. All right, I'm the brother Ties of War from the GMS New Jersey camp. And uh, back at you again with a quick lesson. Uh, as always, you know, I pray to Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai that those of the hopeful elect be edified, all right, by his word, by his gospel, by his truth. And that, uh, you know, it builds upon your salvation and builds upon your faith. And uh, this topic in particular, you know, the title is going to be Stay in Focus. All right, Stay in Focus. Because that is the main goal. Our main goal is staying focused on his word, which was given to us, all right, by the spirit and power of Yahweh, by Shema Shai, by the precepts and teachings of men, all right, but by the spirit and power of Yahweh, by Shema Shai, all right. Staying focused on what? Salvation. Staying focused on, you know, building upon your faith, you know, praying, you know, doing the things that the Most High delight in, you know. Doing what the Lord's told us to do, speaking, prophesizing, all right, being brotherly amongst the brethren, all right, holding fast this word, you know, straight up, you know, don't let nobody um take you off your, you know, you know, distract you or let anybody take away your your salvation, because you know they may have um demons on them, you know, if they're not in the spirit and power of Yahweh by Shema Shai, then you know, more than likely, they're going to have demons on them, you know, and, and Satan is out like a roaring lion looking for who he can devour. And especially us brothers that saw in this truth, you know, that's putting in the work, you know, standing stiffly for the name of the Lord, uh, showing showing our faith through our works, you know, exhorting the Most High's name, his son's name, Yahweh Shai, you know, and um, hoping to endure all the way to the end. You know, we're we're number one on the list. To be targeted, all right, targeted by demon spiritual Satan, all right, and also targeted by his counterpart Esau, okay, and the other nations, and even for our own people, you know, when you come into this truth, you realize that this is truly a really, you know, excuse me, this is really a spiritual war, it's a spiritual fight, all right, and um, you know what, before I get that scripture, I want to read the scripture that I post at the bottom, all right. Matter of fact, let me get it. Thought I had it written out, but I could go to it. So let's go to, um, because this is very important, man. All right, this is Romans chapter 8 and 35. It says, Who shall separate us from the love of Hamashiach? Shall tribulation or distress or persecution? or famine, or nakedness, or peril, or sword. <gasps> as it is written, for thou sake we are killed all the day long. We are accounted as sheep for the slaughter. Nay, in all things we are more than conquerors through him that love us. All right. Now this is Paul, you know, giving his wisdom. All right. And speaking on matters that concern all of us. You know, like I said. Who shall separate us from the love of Hamashiach, Yahweh Shai? You know who? If you truly have faith in the Lord, you truly have the understanding, you have the knowledge, all right? The Most High apply you with the wisdom, all right? So you take everything that comes across your way in a spiritual manner. You judge it, all right, as far as in righteousness, you know? And it says, who shall separate us from the love of Hamashiach? Who? It says, shall tribulation or distress or persecution or famine or nakedness or peril or sword. None of these things is going to separate the elect from Yahweh by Shem Yahweh Shai. It says, as it is written, for thou sake, we are killed all the day long. We are accounted as sheep for the slaughter. All right. So it's seen because the Lord told us to be sheep. You know, he sent us as sheep amongst wolves, but he told us to be harmless as doves and wise as serpents. He said to be peaceable with all men. All we have is this truth. You know, all we have is this word right now. We don't have anything physically. 
all right, far as power and, and uh, you know, uh, uh, you know, let me say this. We don't have anything physically. We don't have an army. We don't have, um, you know, carnal things. We have the spirit. We have the word of the Lord, which is going to lead into the carnal. But that's when the Lord said, wait ye upon me. All right. So he rise up to the prey. Another scripture to back that up is he said uh, he would destroy them with the spirit of his mouth and then with the brightness of his coming. All right. So all we have truly is our faith. And don't let nobody take your faith, man. No matter what they say or what they do. All right. This is about you. This is the fight that you have to go through. You have to walk through the fire. All right. So shall tribulation or distress or persecution or famine or nakedness or peril or sword. As it is written, for thou sake, we are killed all the day long. We are accounted as sheep for the slaughter. Nay, in all things, we are more than conquerors through him that love us. So we're more than conquerors through Yahweh Bashim Yahushua that love us. All right. For I am persuaded that neither death, nor life, nor angels, nor principalities, nor powers, nor things present, nor things to come. Nor height, nor depth, nor any other creature shall be able to separate us from the love of Yahweh, which is in Hamashiach, Yahweh Shai, our Lord. All right. So not angel, man, not principalities, meaning spirits. All right. Nor things present, nor things to come. It's going to separate your love. All right. And your faith from Yahweh, Bashim, Yahweh Shai. All right. So, you know, I wanted to bring that up. So now let's get the first scripture here on staying focused. This is Colossians chapter 3 and 2. It says, set your affections on things above, not on things on the earth. All right? That's straight to the point. Set your affection on things above. What is above? The things we can't see. All right? Yahweh Bashim Yahweh the kingdom. Okay? Set your affection on things above, not on things on the earth because if you set your affections on things here in the earth you're going to fall short you know the lord said love not the world all right he said anyone that loved the world the love of the father is not in them so if you put your mind into your car you put your mind into your woman you put your mind into all of these carnal things more than the most high all right and more than you know this kingdom to come all right then you're going to fall short all right. You put your mind into having emotions, you know, or, you know, worrying about what somebody else thinks. Fuck what everybody else think. I'm going to be straight up, man. Excuse my French. But I want to say it like that because in all reality, the hell with what they think. It's about your salvation. It's about your faith. All right. Because at the end of the day, we all going to have to uh, be solitary. All right. Nobody could, you know, get us to the kingdom. Nobody could. Really, uh, let me excuse me. Let me say this in better words. Nobody can uh, save you. Only Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai. You know, who we fear is Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai. All right. Who we hope to accept us is Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai. All right. Because at the end of the day, they call the shots. Okay. It says, set your affections on things above, not on things on the earth. All right. Verse Proverbs, uh, excuse me, Proverbs 4 and 25. Let thou eye look right on and let thou eyelid look straight before thee. Straight to the point. All right. Let thou eyes look right on. You know, look, look, look at the, the path in which the Most High put you through. Look with the things that you went through. You know, scriptures also say when ye once was illuminated, you know, remember the times when you was in the world. And now look at what you become through your Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai. All right, through, through his word, how he healed you. It says, let thou eyes look right on. So look, look at, look at the truth. See the vision and let thou eyelids look straight before thee. So stay focused, man. You know, it's a lot of things that's going to keep you distracted. A lot of things Satan going to try to bug, bug, bug you in your mind. You know, the scriptures talk about how the mind is deceitfully wicked. You know, so there's going to be things there that's going to, you know, Satan is going to tempt you. You know, he's going to want you to lash out. He's going to want you to, you know, to, to do carnal things or to break or transgress the, 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 Lord, the Lord's laws. All right. Let thou eyes look right on and let thou let thine eyelids look straight before thee. That's straight to the point. Stay focused, man. If you're driving, right, 
you know, a lot of times us brothers, you know, especially me, you know, I drive and do shows and read scriptures, but I trust in Yahweh Bashim Al Shai that he guide my steps, you know, and that he he covered me with his angels, you know, so that I don't, you know, get into an accident, things that matter. But what, you know, when you're driving, your eyes are supposed to stay focused. You know, and guess what? While, while, while brothers, you know, driving and speaking the word, our eyes are focused because we got spiritual eyes, man. <laughs> you know, <laughs> not alone that the eyes that we see through our, through, you know, our carnal eyes, you know, that we see what we can see. But we have our spiritual eyes, man. You know, our antennas are up, man. You know, our frequency is loud. All right. Our sensitive touch as far as the energy that the Most High gives us. All right, it's it's intensified, man. We see, you know. So, like when you're driving, you're supposed to stay focused, man. You know, stay focused on the point. And with that being said, let me um, I want to get this definition here real quick, right? On the word focus, quick Google search, nothing too deep. It says focus, the center of interest or activity. So, what is the center? Of staying focused on his truth, salvation, the kingdom. You know, hopefully the Lord is, is preparing us for the day of the battle. All right. So that you, your mind could be strengthened, your spirit could be strengthened, and may the Lord strengthen your, your uh your flesh. All right. May the Lord strengthen, you know, your uh your steps, man, so that you'll be able to escape. You know, you able to go through and able to escape, as the scriptures say. So it says the center of interest of activity. Uh, this generation has made the environment a focus of attention. All right. Hey, the, the elect, the elect has made the environment a focus of attention. Now, the elect have made Yahweh Bashim Yahweh the focus of attention. OK, and you're not supposed to lose focus. You know, we're men. So, of course, we're going to do other things, you know, on our leisure time. Brothers may work out or brothers work heavy, you know, or, you know, brothers, you know, got your mind into things that, you know, little things that you do on the side. But what is the main focus, the center of interest or activity is that the focus of attention is the kingdom. The focus of attention is teaching its truth. Salvation. All right. Being delivered. All right. All right. So let me go down to two. the state or quality of having or producing clear visual definition. All right. So we have the clear visual, man. We can see if you can see in the Lord, you know, the Lord gave you eyes to see ears to hear. Then your focus has to stay on salvation, being saved by Yahweh Bashim Yahweh being delivered, all right? The state or quality of having or producing clear visual definitions. His face is rather out of focus, focus point. All right, let's go to the next one. Of a person or their eye, of, of a person or their eyes adapt to the prevailing level of light and become able to see clearly, all right? Adapt to the prevailing level of light and become able to see clearly. This is why the elect difference from the rest of Israel. OK, this is why the elect difference from the rest of the, the uh, two, the two thirds. All right. Because the Lord have clearly. All right. Given the elect eyes. OK, to see clearly, man. Their eyes able to adapt. To the prevailing level of light. What is that light? Yahweh Shai. What is that light? His word. And become able to see clearly. So if you can see clearly, hold fast, man. Hold fast to what you have learned. You know? And who you learned it from. Because it's all about order. You know? At the end of the day, you're looking for that one penny to be delivered. To be delivered. You know, when we go out and teach... We supposed to be humiliated. We supposed to be brought low. All right. Don't worry about what other people think or what they say. 
if you if you if you up to hold for Lex, stay focused. Let your eyes see clearly. All right, upon salvation, you know, and uh, pay, uh, pay particular attention to. Okay, the study will focus on a number of areas. Right, pay particular attention to, and uh, with that being said, I'm gonna get the scripture that I have precept that I have at the very end, which is Proverbs four and five. All right, through eight. It says, get wisdom, get understanding. All right. So, so, so let me read that again. Going back to the definition um, of a person or their eyes adapt to the prevailing level of light and become able to see clearly. How do you see clearly? Proverbs 4 and 5. Get wisdom, get understanding. The more understanding that you get, the more clearly you can see. And we're always looking for more understanding. You know, this truth is always, it's not enough understanding you can have. It's, it's, un, it, you, it's, you, you're always learning more wisdom and, you know, getting more wisdom and getting understanding. You know, the more you grow in this truth. So it's about edifying each other so that we can grow. The most I can build us up. No matter how old you are in this, uh, this truth, you know, it don't matter about your spiritual, uh, uh, uh spiritual age, you know. Just as well as your physical age. We're all we're all getting more wisdom and getting understanding. All right. It says forget it not. See, forget it not. Because if you forget it, you won't be able to see clearly. Then you will find yourself falling short. And as the scriptures say, many are called, but few are chosen. You know, and the most important thing, you know, being called is a beautiful thing. But more importantly, it's better to be the chosen. All right. Because them are the ones that the Most High, all right, sanctified and made his from the very beginning. All right. The elect, because it's about the elect. It says, forget it not, neither decline from the words of my mouth. Forsake her not, and she shall preserve thee. Love her, and she shall keep thee. All right. That's the word. You know, you're supposed to love, you know, looking forward to seeing the kingdom. Uh, uh, waiting upon Yahweh Shai to return. We're seeing the prophecies right now. We're actually at a time where the Lord is fulfilling his last prophecies in which he spoke about through the prophets. We're seeing it fulfilled right before our eyes, brothers. You know, so stay focused, man. I'm going to excuse my friends, but fuck everybody else. All right, fuck them. You know, they don't like you. Hey, don't sweat it. Stay focused on your how about Shimmy how was All right. It says, Forsake her not, and she shall preserve thee. Love her. All right. You're supposed to love her. This is the word. You're supposed to love this word, man. This word becomes everything, man. You know, personally, this is everything to me. All right. Because your life has, you know, become a, a, a vessel for the for the Lord to use in righteousness. Paul said, give thy body as a living sacrifice. You gave up the world. The Most High Allah helped you to pull you away from the world. All right. So you're bought with a price. You, you hey man, this is our reasonable duty. All right. So there's really nothing else. You, you, you got to stay focused. You know, fuck everything else. Fuck that money. Esau's uh, Federal Reserve note. Yeah, we need, we need money. We need substance. We need things. But like Solomon said, man, be content. You don't want too much. You don't want too little. You have too much. At least you forsake the Lord. You have too little. At least you uh, uh, you still, man. And that's going against the law, man. That's transgressing transgressing against the most high laws. All right. So you want to pray heavy, man, fast and ask the Lord to give you what you need. All right. It's written also that the Lord said. Uh, he already know what we need, you know, don't the birds and you know, how do the birds find food every morning? You know, they all around me and somehow every morning they find food. Whether Ephraim over here, Ephraim be throwing bread to him every day, you know, Ephraim heavy into uh, the birds, man. That's what I'm learning by living around a lot of Ephraimites, you know, but, um, you know, how do the birds find food? Right. Do they do they uh, uh, suffer the day before and worry? That they're not going to find food. The most high know what we need already. So all we got to do is pray. The scriptures say you receive not because you ask not. Roughly paraphrasing. All right. 
So it's all about praying and supplication, begging the Lord. All right. Crying for all these abominations that be done in the midst thereof. I mean, how can you not stay focused when you got this hell you going through? When you got to deal with the society that we live in, the laws are being passed. It's grievous, man. Esau created laws that are grievous, man. You know, hard to bear. But through the spirit and power of Yahweh Bashem Yahweh Shai, the Lord told us these things. So stay focused. All right. It says, forsake her not and she shall preserve thee. Love her and she shall keep thee. Wisdom is the principal thing. All right. Therefore, get wisdom. And with all thou getting, get understanding. Whew, I love these scriptures, man. All right. It's, I'm going to read it again. Wisdom is the principal thing. Therefore, get wisdom. And with all thou getting, get understanding. And that's so you can see. The more you understand, the more you can see. Look at look at the two thirds. Look at the fallout boys. All right. Look at these guys that just spring up out of nowhere talking smack, you know, against this, against the truth, against your how about you mouth shot, against the fact that we are the Hebrew Israelites because they can't they don't have understanding. They can't see. It wasn't given to them. It says, exhort her and she shall promote thee. She shall bring thee to honor when thou doest embrace her. <laughs> you know, that's beautiful. That's beautiful. I'm going to read it again. Exhort her and she shall promote thee. She shall bring thee to honor when thou doest embrace her. All right. So exhort the word, man. All right. So I want to go. I think I was it. Yeah, that was it as far as the definition. So let me go back to the top and I'm going to get another scripture. This is Matthew 6 and 33. But seek ye the king, excuse me, but seek ye first the kingdom of God, which is Yahweh. So let me read it again. But seek ye first the kingdom of Yahweh and his righteousness and all these things shall be added unto you. So stay focused. Seek the kingdom of Yahweh. How do you seek the kingdom? You're constantly doing what the Lord told you to do. All right. You're praying. OK, you're, you're uh, you know, you're, you're out there on the highways and byways. You're teaching the truth. All right. You're being brotherly. You're holding down the Sabbath to the best of your ability. You're rehearsing the righteous acts to the best of your ability. You know, uh, having that ink of salve, that ink of hope, you know. It says, but seek ye first the kingdom of Yahweh and his righteousness. So we're supposed to seek out the righteousness. Remember, the Lord said, hate the evil and love the good. All right. So if you constantly hate evil, then you're staying in the side of righteousness. All right. But all these things, it says, and all these things shall be added unto you. So everything in which our hearts desire and everything we need, we're going to have it in the kingdom. We're going to be perfect. We're going to defeat. That's the, the saying of the sting of death. All right. We're never going to die. So so the scriptures say, give the Lord no rest until he established the kingdom. man. All right. So constantly at work to, to, to rush the Lord. All right. He said, pray for a few days unto you, unto this place. You know, he said, haste in a day. So we're praying and in and, 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 and hopes that the Lord. Speed up these days for the elect's sake. We're hoping that he he fulfill his his prophecy so that we can have the kingdom tomorrow, man. All right. Tonight. All right. So Psalms one and one. Blessed is the man that walketh not in the counsel of the ungodly, nor standeth in the way of sinners, nor sitteth in the seat of the scornful. So blessed is that man that walk not in the counsel of ungodly, man. You know, you got that man is truly blessed. Because you could do anything, man. You could be doing anything right now. You know, you could be worried about uh, making more money, trying to have a bigger house. You could be trying to, you know, you could be uh, working hard. You could be working in this society, hopes to become a rapper, you know, a singer, a dancer. You know, you, you going to college for this, going to college for that. You know, that's really walking in. That's 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 all corruptible. All right. We're looking for an incorruptible crown. All right. Something that's not corrupted, man. So it says, blesses the man that walketh not in the counsel of the ungodly. All right. So right then and there, that man is blessed. He's not walking and following after ungodly. All right. 
nor standeth in the way of sinners, nor sitteth in the seat of scornful, of the scornful. But his delight is in the law of the Lord. And in his law doeth he meditate day and night. And constantly, we brothers, we always meditate in that day and night. The Lord is in all our thoughts. All right. And if he's not, then you might need to check yourself before you wreck yourself. Straight up. All right. Stay focused, man. Verse three. And he shall be like a tree planted by the rivers of water that bringeth forth his fruit in his season. His leaf also shall not wither and whatsoever he doeth shall prosper. All right, so whatever what this man does, all right, he's going to prosper because he's doing it in the spirit and power of Yahweh Bashem Yahweh Shah and righteousness, man. You know? And in his season, it says what? Uh, it says, and he shall be like a tree planted by the rivers of water, being fed, always fed by the word, that bringeth forth his fruit in his season. So whenever his season come, oh, that tree is going to grow fruit. Not only uh, fruit on that tree, but that fruit is going to be very potent, man. Okay? It's going to be very nourishable. Okay? Uh, good to the body. Good to the soul. It says, his leaf also shall not wither. So he won't die out. Because he's strong. He made his foundation upon the rock, which is Yahweh Shai. Or whatsoever he doeth shall prosper. So everything that he do, all right, in the word, it's going to prosper, man. You know, you could do nothing against the truth, but what? For the truth. Verse 4. The ungodly are not so, but are like the shaft which the wind driveth away. Of course. You know, the, the ungodly, they're like that rocks. They're like the rubble, you know, rubble upon the mountains, man. And as soon as the wind blow, you see all them rocks tumbling down, you know, tumbling off the mountain, falling off. You know, that's the ungodly. They always falling, man. Hey, the Most High said they, uh, 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 those that hate me love death. <laughs> you know? <laughs> Lord said those that hate me love death. They love coming back and dying, man. All right? So it says, verse 5, Therefore the ungodly shall not stand in the judgment, nor sinners in the congregation of the righteous, for the Lord Yahweh knoweth the way of righteousness. Excuse me. For the Lord Yahweh knoweth the way of the righteous, but the way of the ungodly shall perish. All right. So this is Romans chapter eight and five. For they that are after the flesh do mind the things of the flesh, but they that are after the spirit, the things of the spirit. Stay focused. That's straight to the point, man. It's, it's a lot of these guys out here that, uh, you know, claim to be in this truth. All right. And, and they know that they Israelites and, you know, they go out. Whenever it's hot, they don't go out when it's cold. You know, they make all these, they do the rehearsing of the holy days, but it's all for, you know, glory in themselves, you know, looking for numbers, you know, not holding the Passover in a Solomon uh, uh, way, a uh, serious way as far as the Hawashai, you know, partying and eating and drinking, giving into marriage. All right. They're after the carnal things. These guys, they don't understand these scriptures. The way that the 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 elect do, all right, and that's having that true understanding. So stay focused, man. Everybody, everybody is up here set. Excuse me, <laughs> they are set for an example, man. It says, "For they that are after the flesh do mind the things of the flesh." So if you're going after the flesh, you're gonna mind the things of the flesh, all right. Being emotional, you know, taking things uh, to the heart, you know, uh, you know, not not seeing things clearly. You know, all right. It says, but they that are after, the, but they that are after the spirit, the things of the spirit. So those that are searching after the spirit and how, you know, they they can uh, increase their faith in the Lord through the spirit, growing in the Lord through the spirit. They're gonna they're gonna be after the spirit, man. All right, things that that feeds the spirit, not the flesh. It says, verse. Uh, excuse me. This is Second Timothy two and fifteen. Study to show thyself approved unto the Most High, a workman that needeth not to be ashamed, rightly divide, dividing the word of truth. So the, the point, it says, study to show thyself approved unto the Most High. You have to study this word in order to, to know the gospel. 
All right. In order to have that understanding, it says a workman that needeth not to be ashamed. So there's no need for you to be ashamed of the Lord if you know the word. Remember what the Lord, Mark 8, 38, what the Lord said, if ye ashamed of me, he will be ashamed of you. All right. It says rightly dividing the word, dividing the word of truth. So you want to speak that 100 percent truth. You want to have the correct doctrine. All right. You don't want to offend the Lord. You know, you want to, you know, do the things the Lord delight in. So you want to speak the truth. Be truth. Be truthful about everything, man. All right. Be truthful to yourself. Know yourself. Know yourself so that you can stay focused and not let Satan tempt you whenever he come. And he could come through anybody. All right. Anybody. It could be a misunderstanding. But so what? Overall, it's how you channel the energy. You know. Only Yahweh Shah is going to be able to deliver you, man. Philippians chapter four and eight. Finally, brethren, whatsoever things are true, whatsoever things are honest, whatsoever things are just, whatsoever things are pure, whatsoever things are lovely, whatsoever, whatsoever things are of the good report, are of good report. If there be any virtue and if there be any praise, think on these things. All right. This is Matthew 6 and 24. No man can serve two masters for either he will hate the one and love the other or else he will hold to the one and despise the other. Ye cannot serve God and mammon. All right. So that's you got guys that has a problem. You know, they'd rather get that back, you know, than to suffer and to serve the Lord. You know, you can either grow more in the Lord or you could, you know, grow more in the in the flesh as far as this world. You know, so if someone has the love of money, all right, and they serve money more than they serve the most high, you're going to fall short. All right. You're going to despise the other, as the scriptures say. Let me read it one more time. No man can serve two masters. You can't because wherever your, wherever your mind is, you know, wherever your treasure, wherever your mind is, that's where your treasure is. Roughly paraphrasing. All right. You know, wherever you put your mind to, that's what you're going to be focused on. So it says no man can serve two masters. For either he will hate the one and love the other. That's straight up, man. All right. You either going to love this truth or you're going to hate it. It ain't going in between. Ain't no in between. You either going to love it or you're going to hate it or else he will hold to the one and despise the other. Yeah, because you're going to have to make a choice. Everyone going to have to make a choice, man. It says you cannot serve God and mammon. All right. I'm going to wrap it up. I think I got a, yeah, I got a lot more precepts here. Well, a few more. I'm going to try to make it quick on the time going on. I want my phone to lose, lose the, uh, disrupt the, uh, the video for not having too much space. Sometimes that happens. Um, all right. First Corinthians 10, 13, there have no temptation taken you, but such as is common to man, but the most high is faithful who will not suffer you to be tempted above that ye are able, but will with the temptation also make a way to escape that ye may be able to bear it all right so the lord knows everything man all right he knows that whatever it is you know if you trust in him he'll make a way for you to bear it and make a way for you to, to escape all right first uh, peter 3 17 for it is better if the will of the most high be so that ye suffer for well doing than for evil doing you see so it's better to suffer for the for the good, for good, good doings, well doing, let me say well doing, than for evil doings, man. You know, that's that's a uh yeah, that's something to think about, man. For it is better if the will of Yahweh be so, that ye suffer for well doing than for evil doing. You know, so I you know, we'd rather suffer righteously than to suffer for something wicked, you know, straight up. Proverbs 16 and 3. Commit thy works unto the Lord Yahweh, and thy thoughts shall be established. So stay focused. If you stay focused on the word, you know, the scriptures say, commit thy works unto the Lord. All right? Your mind, body, and soul. Okay? It says, and thy thoughts, all right, your mind, your spirit, shall be established. Meaning the Lord guides the steps of the righteous, man. All right? Man's going is of the Lord. How then can he find his own way? The Lord God is the steps of the righteous. All right. So if your thoughts is upon the Lord to do good, then the Lord going to drive your steps to do good, man. It says Proverbs 2 and 
and two. Uh, so thou incline thou ear unto wisdom and apply thou heart to understanding. See, understanding makes things clear. When you understand something clear, you have no reason to get mad at. It says verse three. Yea, if thou criest after knowledge and lifted up thy voice for, uh, for understanding, if thou seekest her as silver and searchest for her as for hid treasures, then shalt thou understand the fear of the Lord and find the knowledge of Yahweh. See, <laughs> these scriptures are bad, man. Let me read five again. Then shalt thou understand the fear of the Lord and find the knowledge of Yahweh. See, that's how you find the knowledge of the Most High because you fear. And then, you know, it all, it all is all in sync, man. Fear, knowledge, wisdom, understanding. All this is all in one. All right. One, one carries to the next one, man. One carries over to the next, next tree. All right. That you need. It says Philippians 4 and 13. I can do all these through Yahamashiach, Yahweh Shai, which strengthen me. So he could do all these things through Yahweh Shai. Colossians 2 and 6. As ye have therefore received Hamashiach, Yahweh Shai, the Lord, so walk ye in him, rooted and built up in him. So you got to be rooted and built up in him. This is why the Lord breaks you down. When you come into this truth, prepare thy soul for temptation. All right? Because you got to get rooted and you got to get built up. It says, establish in thy faith. So you got to be established in your faith. You can't be winnowing. You can't be uh, shaky in your faith or I don't know. No, let your yea be yea, your nay be nay. It says, as ye have been taught, abounding therein with thanksgiving. So be thankful, man. That's another thing. I like to have a push heavy. Be thankful, man. All right? Be very thankful for everything, man. All right? Beware lest any man spoil you through philosophy and vain deceit. After the tradition of men, after the rudiment of the world, and not after Yahweh Shai, Hamashiach. All right? Because you can easily be seduced with a spirit. You know, Mosai didn't have to call upon you. So be thankful and stay focused. Uh, Ecclesiastes 9 and 10. Whatsoever thou hand findeth to do, do it with thy might. Meaning give it your all, man. For there is no work, nor device, nor knowledge, nor wisdom in the grave, whether thou goest. <laughs> That's real. That's real talk. <laughs> hey, you got to work while you're here because other than that, there's nothing in the grave, man. All right. When you're in the spirit realm, you're resting, man. You do all your work, your plowing in the flesh. And right now it's a lot of work to be done until the Lord fulfill the prophecies, man. He fulfill his what he what he said. And once it's done, we out of here, man. Whatsoever thou hand findest to do, do it with thou might. For there is no work, nor device, nor knowledge, nor wisdom in the grave, whether thou goest. Second Timothy, this is my last scripture. Precept, 2 Timothy 3 and 16, all scriptures is given by inspiration of Yahweh, and it is profitable for doctrine, for reproof, for correction, for instruction in righteousness, that the man of the Most High may be perfect, truly furnished unto all good works. All right. So, you know, the topic of this video is staying focused, man. Don't let nobody take thy crown, meaning don't let nobody take your salvation away from you because only you, you know, scriptures say you can't, uh, high go, um, you can't say that the most high made you go off. All right. You know, roughly paraphrasing it. You can't say that the most high tempted you. It's you. So don't let nobody, you know, take away your salvation. Stay focused on the prize and the hell with what people think. If they don't like you, you don't have to like them. Your goal is to see salvation. All right. You know, so, hey, I hope this lesson was edifying to those of the whole four elect. You know, stay focused. Continue to pray. Continue to do the works of the Lord and endure whatever hell that we you go through. We all going through it. You know, it goes around like a merry-go-round, man. You know, and um, may the Lord destroy this bitch, man. Excuse my friends, but may the Lord destroy this place, you know. So with that, I want to give all praises to Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai, Bahashim Rakakwadash. I like to give double honors to the apostles and elders of Great Millstone. Salutations to all the Lord's hopeful elect. Shalom.